All right, y'all. Um, so the plan was to actually have a co-host and we would be discussing um, a couple of things, of course, the risk and um, risk, perce risk perception, HIV stigma in the Black Indigenous people of color populations and communities. Um, however, uh, because I cannot see you and I'm not seeing any tech person, um, is there another chat? Because it looks like there may be another chat going on somewhere else. All right, so here we go. So we're going to see what we could do. So plans have changed. Plans are a little bit derailed, but that's a okay. So listen, so hello. My name is Deidre, and it is a blessing and a pleasure to be able to come before you today. Um, I'm here to talk to you as a member of one of the risk groups, and we um, ask you, you know, if you're interested, um, if you want to come on in and join the room, please come on in. Uh, we have a group me that we have online that you are more than welcome to join in on. And we have um, a little bit of conversation about this um, whole deal. And so right now what the plan again was to have someone else as a co-host and to have conversation back and forth. Um, but unfortunately that is not gonna happen at this moment. So we're gonna have some chat box conversation. If you are in Zoom, if it is feasible because um, I only have one feature to be able to look at at this moment. If you are able to in Zoom, if you are able to leave some comments or what have you in the chat box and so we can start to have that discussion now. So one of the things or questions that we had was what please, um, what were some stigmas faced by communities living with HIV? And so I'm gonna make sure you guys can see that. I'm gonna put that. So if you are able, and if somebody can send me a message and let me know of another way that I will be able to see you all's conversation, that would be great. All right. Some stigmas, just looking for some stigmas. Yeah. What are some stigmas? Some things um, that just kind of pop up to mind or um, sometimes access to care, um, sometimes lack of knowledge about what is going on about HIV, being up to date about some of the new advances with medication, uh, new doctors and areas in your area. And sometimes even having those folks that are even available that are able to take care of us and take care of us well. Uh, have had several conversations with folks that are on HIV medication and have shared with me uh, that they have been prescribed certain things, but uh, have also recognized that it has caused major damage to some of their systems and have moved to other areas. And because of um, the previous physician ended up having to change their medication and their health quickly improved. So um, having conversations with our physicians um, in all rights and that's all across the board and feeling comfortable to even go to the doctor without having to worry about sometimes, not even sometimes, all times, cost, transportation is an issue. And I know that there is a social determinants of health group um, that is actually meeting at the same time. So I'm sure that a lot of people have joined in on that as well. But I would be very interested because um, I right now I don't see any conversation in the chat, but I will be very interested to hear any of um, your comments that you may have to bring into the table.
Hmm. So, um, I'm actually kind of lost for words right now. And if anybody knows me, that is a major, major feat. And um, I'm trying my darndest to get past this and to be able to move past and try to have some enlightening conversation. But some of the things that we were planning, um, were good, like I said, we're gonna be a, a double conversation. It's kind of difficult to have a conversation by yourself. So um, I am just going to say, Number one, I appreciate all of you that showed up in this session. Um, I also appreciate all of you and especially Howard, as well as all of our other sponsors that are having these conversations. I will say folks didn't come to play when they came to talk about stigma and we're talking about all stigmas and putting everything out so that we can work towards change and work towards um, an understanding and being able to stop stigma where it needs to be gone. So I'm, I'm excited about all of the presentations that have happened, as well as all the presentations that will be happening tomorrow as well. I am going to honestly dismiss us um, if it's all right, because um, what we have planned is not going to quite what we have planned. And um, my backup, we won't be able to see you and have conversation back and forth. So I want to personally thank you all for coming. Um, I apologize that this is not a very informative space, but there we should have done, we had some other things that we're gonna work out. So I love you and we love you and we mean it. So thank you all for coming and um, have a great afternoon. Thank you.